I'm Linda and I live in Santa Cruz County, California and I have Oklahoma Sam, the world's tallest donkey. Sam is a type of donkey called American Mammoth Jackstock and this donkey was developed by the first president of the United States, George Washington, for the purpose of producing mules for farm work. What I did is, when I decided that I had to have a donkey, I had to research breeders because I was very determined to raise a baby donkey. So I found a breeder in Oklahoma, he had a very large herd, and he had lots of baby donkeys to sell, and I sent him a deposit check on my 49th birthday. So what he did was send me pictures uh, of new babies, and I, I knew the first one that I saw I was going to fall in love with, so I knew I wasn't really going to be in any position to pick one foal over another. And, and Sam was the first picture that he sent, and I did indeed fall in love with her. She has a very interesting white mark on her side, and I was, I was kind of interested in that. So for, uh, for Jackstock, uh, there's a minimum height that they have to be, and Sam is quite a bit older than that. It's 16-1, she's very large. She would be large even for a male, but for a female, that's quite large. She's a very emotional animal. She has, uh, she's happy about things and then unhappy about things, and she's very willing to express that. But we have barn cats, everybody needs to have the barn cats. And we also have a duck and a goose, and they're very helpful in the garden. And Sam is uh, very tolerant of them, uh, less so if they happen to wander into her pasture. She tends to like to chase the animals that wander into her pasture, whether it be a cat or a duck and a goose. And she uh, really gets excited when the duck and the goose flap their wings as they're exiting the pasture what it means to be in the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, it's so special because it's with my donkey, who's just the love of my life. So, I mean, it would be fantastic to be in the book anyway, but to be in the book with something that means so much to me.